Many beginners who use E6013 or J422 electrodes for stick welding often experience the molten metal sagging downward. Let's look at the specific causes. As you can see in this weld run, the molten metal clearly sagged downward. The first cause is that the welding current is too high. The second cause is that the arc is too long. In other words, the electrode tip is too far from the base metal so it can't hold the molten metal, causing it to sag. The third cause is that when swinging the electrode left and right, the middle motion is too slow and the sides don't pause to support the puddle. The fourth cause is an incorrect electrode angle. If your electrode is at the wrong angle, the molten metal will definitely sag. The correct welding angle is like this. Tilt the electrode downward about 70 to 80 degrees so the electrode can drag and hold the molten metal while you swing left and right and weld upward. If the current is high, use the reverse overpressure electrode movement technique to control the molten metal sag. If current and temperature are appropriate, use a vertical movement technique. If the current is too low, use the forward overpressure movement technique. When current is very low and temperature is low, this method forces the molten metal upward. I'll demonstrate this from this position. Watch closely. Welding is finished. After knocking off the slag, let's take a look at the weld bead formation. This here is the weld bead formation effect. I hope this video can help friends who are learning welding. If you enjoyed it, please give a like. I share practical welding tips and videos every day. Thank you all for your support. See you in the next video. Subscribe Weldmaster India for more real-life production tips to make welding easier and more efficient.